Today's COVID update is brought to you by Fultex Systems, your technology center, where you'll come for the price, but stay for the service. And welcome back to Open Your Eyes. We're moving now into our second segment. As you can see, our courtesy Fultex Systems. Uh, we have got now in with us, actually it's a, actually BTV promotes their Belizean Traveler campaign. We saw it on the news last night. I'm sure you did as well. And it's well received. In to tell us about it, Jocelle Stevens, who is a manager industry relations for BTV. Uh, we have Ted Tejada, who is a president of the Belize Hotel Association. And also on screen, we've got Dwayne Moody, who is an influencer for BTV's Belizean Traveler. Guys, good morning good and morning. welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. There you go, D. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so guys, you know, th the initiative is definitely one well, well received. And we're saying that because we're seeing the numbers. We're seeing what people are saying. Belize is a country of everything you could think about to get you relaxed. Ted, tell us about it. Uh, uh, Jocelle, tell us about it. This is a great initiative. How did it come around? Well, actually, um, Belizean Traveler has been around for the last five years. Wow. We have seen the need to have domestic tourism as part of our strategy. Mm -hmm. But this year, it takes on a new life because, of course, there's the impact of COVID. But even prior to that, we saw the potential to expand. So mm -hmm. this year, the strategy has now become a long year strategy. So it's part of our entire fiscal strategy where we will be doing the Belizean Traveler campaign yeah. for the entire year, mm -hmm. right? Um, the objective, of course, is to to promote that this country is your backyard. Mm -hmm. This is your space. This is your place to enjoy. And we want to have you benefit the same way that our international visitors benefit with the experience of a destination that's diverse yeah. and authentic as well. Yeah. So, of course, ultimately, we need to boost revenues. We have our industry partners here with us through the BHA, and they need to make their money as well. They need yeah. to survive. And bear in mind that this all contributes to GDP yes. and economic growth, economic development, employment for our locals. Yeah. So that's the premise of the campaign as well. Wow. Yeah. You know, um, when you look at uh, Belize as a country mm -hmm. and that 46% of the national GDP comes from tourism, tourism. Um, we have always been singing that somehow we have to educate our people from very young uh, on tourism. And COVID came to close and shut down the borders yeah. for the last seven months. Um, there was not one international tourist yeah. from March 23rd until October 1st that was able to enter into the country. Yeah. It was Belizeans. Um, it was like going to university and having all our Belizeans people visit our own destination, our country, yeah. and become our ambassadors. Mm -hmm. It has been uh, very rewarding because a lot of our people have family living abroad, they have mm -hmm. friends, and these pictures that have been posted all over social media has generated the interest. Now that we see that the international borders are opening, we can see that our own friends and Belizeans living abroad mm -hmm. and saying, you know what, I want to come on vacation at home. Yeah. Actually, for the Easter, for every six guests that were staying in a hotel, four of them were Belizeans. It was the most amazing scene yeah. that we ever seen. Yeah. Um, prior to that, uh, we all flocked to Chetamal and Cancun. Yeah. But right this year, it was four to six, um, two international, four Belizeans. And that is what we are here to do today. Mm -hmm. One, encourage our stakeholders. We are going to maintain a Belizean rate. Doesn't matter what month of the year, we're going to give you a special rate, John. Yeah, Doesn't yeah, matter where yeah. you want to go. Yeah. We will get you that rate. Um, and not only that, Encourage our Belizeans that it's not just thinking about, you know what, I have to go and stay at Naya for the night and I can't afford it. Go for the day. Yeah. They have a beautiful restaurant right there. Great meals. Just the spa. Just the spa. Yes. Yeah. I mean, look down at Banana Bank. 120 horses yes. on site. Mm -hmm. You can take your, own, your entire family to do horseback riding, yeah. an experience of a lifetime. Um, you can look at Chat Creek down in Cayo. The butterfly farm, yeah. uh, we have it as well in Cayo, the iguana farm at, at San Ignacio Hotel. Yes, yes. You don't have to go for the entire day and rent a room. You can go for the iguana farm and do that experience. It's yeah. a wonderful experience. Yeah. And the culinary experience in Cayo is, uh, and as a matter of fact, across the world. So just like you visit those places, 
visit the little stalls and get something to eat. That is correct. And there's such a great human interest story behind that because in you doing a day trip, like what Ted said, you may not be able to afford right now an overnight. But a day trip, you, and you stop and you eat at a restaurant, you're actually helping that waitress to feed her family because you're investing in the economy in that yeah. sense. Yeah. And so we keep saying that we're stronger together because it takes all of us mm -hmm. to really rebuild this industry. Yeah. Yeah. The, you, you know, I recall the, the Belizean Traveler experience pre-COVID, and it was such a, a wonderful way to kind of showcase Belizeans exploring the country. It's hard to think of silver linings of this pandemic, but for us locally, this is a part of it, that yeah. Belizeans saw parts of the country that they perhaps would have never explored before or could have never afforded before. Yeah. Um, Ted, you touched on something important. It means that when we do reopen the borders, when we do have that influx of tourists, which we expect, and uh, you indicate is already starting to happen, how do we ensure that it still is a, a favorable destination for Belizeans? Mm -hmm. You know, we have been working with our stakeholders um, during last year when everything was completely shut down for international travel, we benefited from Belizeans. Mm -hmm. Honestly, as a country, um, we do not have the massive tourism as countries like Australia and Austria where they close their borders mm -hmm. for every tourist mm -hmm. uh, because they, they generate their own tourist. Mm -hmm. Belize is not there yet. Mm -hmm. um, but we saw that during this time, the there were four or 5,000 Belizeans traveling on a monthly base mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, within the country of Belize. And it was able to give us 10% uh, uh, revenue yeah. of the hotels, wow. uh, mm -hmm. which was very good just to sustain. Yeah. And so I think all of our stakeholders have learned the lesson mm -hmm. that we must maintain the Belizean rate mm -hmm. throughout the year. Mm -hmm. It's not just the rate, um, because actually when you open the borders, that rate doubles for international travel. Mm -hmm. Um, we believe it's actually the, the ambassadors that you create out yeah. of your brand. It is all your own Belizeans. Mm -hmm. They rave about it. And if you look at one Belizean having, let's say, 1,000 connections on Facebook, um, and he posts a picture, if you have 100 Belizean things at your property, mm -hmm. that's 1,000 times 100 yep. that are seeing your product. Mm -hmm. And so to us, it's the reach and the ambassadors that you're creating within your brand mm -hmm. yeah. and it is actually creating revenue for your own hotel yeah. so i am sure marlene that we have learned our lesson um, we, i speak with a lot of them every single day yeah. we will stick to that belizean rate mm -hmm. because we've learned that during the pandemic the same belizean our people were the one who will help us Kept sustain us it yeah. that's correct yeah. which leads me to uh, to head on down to my brother um uh Duane, who is uh, who is now uh, 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 a part of this uh, Belizean traveling, Belizean traveler experience, the win. Tell us about this ordeal. Tell us about the, the, because I find it is a wonderful thing, and that's exactly what I want to say, the win. Tell us about this wonderful experience. All right, uh, morning, everybody. Um, thanks for having me. Uh, really, John Marlene, um, I think that it's an opportunity to connect with Belizeans with the experience, at least inspire them to, you know what, realize that it's no longer hard for you to visit various parts of the country. And um, I think that a lot of times we say, you know what, we wanna go west because I actually, I have the Western region um, in this year's uh, Belizean Traveler Campaign. And you know, a lot of times we say, we want to go west, we want to go and visit uh, one of the Maya uh, monuments, or we want to go to um, the zoo, or we want to go to a river that we're in Creek. But always we think that, oh, you know what, we have to go and stay overnight. And I think that what I want to do with this, at least with my region, is to show people that there are day activities that you can go do as a family, and yeah. you won't have to spend on staying overnight um, and you have the full experience and memories that you and your family can uh, uh, take home, you know, or, or can cherish over the years. I think that the campaign allows us to really see what, you know, in the past was being said as Mother Nature's best, keeper, I, I, best kept secret. I don't think that it's a secret anymore. I don't think 
uh, Belize is a secret to anybody. Uh, and it helps to build that pride of saying to someone, you know what, I am a Belizean. You know, I live where you visit or where you where you come and you travel. You understand? Yeah. And so I think that is what we were going to try to get from this campaign. And I'll tell you, our excitement, the activities, my like I list out some of them where they have for me for the they said, John, they will have a house back. I don't know how I want to do it, right? But I will try, right? There we go. Must see TV already. <laughs> so they have me for house back, uh, house back riding the ATV safari. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do uh, cave tubing. I, I haven't done that before, but I'm, I'm excited about doing that. Zip lining and all of that. You know, I, and I think that oh, it's just going to be fun. And interestingly, um, we are going to show that not only through our social media platforms, but also within the news. Uh, um, that is one of the aspects uh, of the campaign this year where, you know, they're taking it to uh, mainstream media so that you can see exactly what uh, Belize has to offer. And I think it's it's just excellent. The, the whole partnership with the Belize Hotel Association, BTB, BTIA, and the media and so i have uh, i think it's three uh, sorry four other um colleagues uh, uh social media uh a uh, uh, social media um personality influencer um captain Cadel. we also have chef sean quillen uh who is a part of it we have um from also from the media we have tamar jones and we have benjamin uh flowers they're all part of this uh, campaign uh, as influencers who will go to these different regions and really just show you what there is to offer yeah, there. Yeah. And, you know, I, I imagine that what you mentioned earlier is that it's about being able to show people alternatives. So we think of staying in a destination, we think of overnight, but there are a lot of detours that are available. Talk to me about how you find the partners that you want to expose through programs like this. So actually, um, if I can just speak a little to the elements of the campaign yeah. first and then get into that. So Dwayne did mention the influencers. That mm -hmm. is one of the main premises of the campaign, to sp help to spread that awareness. Yeah. So he, he mentioned his fellow media colleagues. And we really wanted to touch into the broadcast arenas because we work with them from time to time. And we see the talent that they have. And every time we've done press trips with them, I always say to them, you guys are the ultimate ambassadors. Mm -hmm. And so it, when this opportunity came to use the media and expand our social influences now to broadcast media, we really jumped on it. And we're so confident in each of them that have been selected that mm -hmm. they will do the job that is required of them, which is to spread awareness in, in kind of like entice people to travel through, their, through the chronicles of their journeys, yeah. right? In terms of... Um, partnerships, right? We have always worked closely with the BHA. I think Ted and I have sat side by side for the last five years on these shows talking about how important the industry is for this. Yes. So for example, another important part of the campaign is the deals website. Mm. The inventory is just as important. We can sit here and we can talk about it as much, yeah. but if they don't have the opportunity to book an affordable package, then this is all in vain. Mm -hmm. So last year we implemented the deals website, mm -hmm. www.beliezebooking.com. And that's where we have stakeholders place their tours, their accommodations, and you can find rates as low as $60 a night in wow. Cayo, mm -hmm. right? And it's so diverse in terms of everybody has different needs, yeah. Everybody has different income levels and budgets. And or that's size what of family. And family <laughs> size, right. And that's what I love about the Deals website because it gives you such a wide variety in all the regions. So from Cayo, Toledo, North, the Southeast Coast, the yeah. Islands, and the Keys. Um, so we work closely with them. But what we realize also is that we can't run away from the fact that we have a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And we understand that people's incomes have been impacted. Mm -hmm. but for, and that's why it's important to have those affordable packages because 
being able to travel and rejuvenate, it's no longer a, a luxury, it's a necessity. Mm -hmm. It's part of what we need to do to unwind from our yeah. daily routines and we need that and we want to ensure that we stress that in our messaging that this is an important part of your recovery yeah. Yeah. as well. Yeah. So you're doing and it we for can't yourself. be we can't you're lose doing it for yourself. You can't lose the opportunity here to see how um, how this can be exponential for your marketing as well because we have family members that live abroad. Right. They're going to come and see places that we visit. Right. They are then going to share it with their friends, which only it, it multiplies from there. The yeah. diaspora is a huge part. We know families who come in now and they take their Belizean families with them yeah. to the destinations. To you yeah. know, that, that is one of the things that I personally get on a, on a daily basis. Yeah. Friends that are living abroad that say, you know what, I'm coming to Belize for five days. What do you recommend? Yeah. Yeah. That is like the number one question. So you sit down at your desk trying to draft an itinerary and saying, what do I like? Mm -hmm. What ha I have done and let me recommend you to do, to do these. Yeah. And many days I tell all of my friends, man, five days is not enough. You need seven <laughs> minimum to come to yeah. Belize because yeah. I can't fit what I like in five days. I mean, Belize has so much to wow. offer. Yeah. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, I always say it's unbelievable what we, we offer here in Belize. <laughs> You know, there's no country in the world. Um, prior to the pandemic, I used mm -hmm. to travel at least nine times for the year outside of Belize. Yeah. During the pandemic, I've had now over 13 months, I haven't been if, not even close to the border. Got you got know? the airport. No, I got the airport. <laughs> I don't know how it looks. You know, because I have enjoyed my, my country during the Easter. I took a trip to San Pedro. Um, we went fishing. Yeah. And it was beautiful that the guy that we have, Dovin, brought in a Kongs to the boat mm -hmm. and did the ceviche right, right on the boat. Right on the boat. Yeah. Man, I and said, now no, you'll I'm... never want it any other way. Yes, I said, <laughs> I'm never going to Cancun anymore. I mean, this is what I want. Yeah, this is what I love. Yes. yes, so yeah. we have nature. Mm -hmm. uh, we have nothing has been built in Belize like these amusement parks. Everything in Belize is natural. Yeah. Authentic. Authentic. Yeah. Authentic. And if that is what you want, this is what we offer as a country. And for the most part, organic. And this is what Thank a you. lot of people, because, you know, if you notice the agricultural sector and what's being pushed out, they're all genuine things that you're getting right here in your country. That is correct. I, I, you know, I, I want to throw something in that a lot of Belizeans always say as to why they try to leave the country a few times. Yeah. Besides the fact of shopping, one of the things they say is, um, you know what, I just like the service out there. I don't worry about the money. Mm -hmm. I like the service. I like that I could get some varieties. How can we curve this? I think that is exactly what we are doing with encouraging Belizeans to travel. Uh, when you see a country, the IMF says that Belize is the eighth country in the world most dependent on tourism. So when you look at tourism, what we sell is hospitality. We sell service. So you are right, Jan. We must perfectionize this service that we need to give because mm -hmm. that's what people are getting mm -hmm. in hospitality. Mm -hmm. By us traveling more, we get to learn yeah. from our own Belizean properties. Mm -hmm. And many of the managers that I visit the resorts, they would sit for breakfast and say, Ted, give me an honest opinion of how we're doing. Uh, constructive criticism. And we've been helping them. The mm -hmm. Belize Hotel Association has been doing a lot of training yeah. um, in these areas because as the borders open, we can see from March Actually, from February to March, we had a 44% increase in international tourists. Wow. So our people... And it's growing. Yeah, it's growing. But you can hear the same tourists saying, I stop at the market, man, and the people were so friendly. Yeah. The people were so amicable. Yeah. So we can see that not only the hoteliers are giving the service, but our population at large, wherever the ice cream shop mm -hmm. uh, the, at, the, at the markets, mm -hmm. they're offering the yeah. service. Yeah. So I think the Belizean traveler is paying dividends yeah. because our Belizeans are traveler, traveling and they are realizing that what we sell is service and we have to improve on that. Jessel, hasn't that sure. always been a part of our exit surveys that people always rave about uh, how friendly our people are? For sure. And um, yeah. I personally can attest to that mm -hmm. because I'm not originally a Belizean and I've never felt like a foreigner one day in Belize and that has always been my testament when I travel internationally. That yeah. I can attest to the fact that Belize is a naturally a friendly, friendly, they're friendly yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> but Ted, you know, uh, you, you did mention 44% uh, uh, up at this particular point. Is this where you guys forecasted us to be? Is that number where you guys forca forecasted us you to know, be at this point? If you look at any international survey that has been done, not only for Belize, because the pandemic is worldwide. Yeah. Um, they're 
pro, uh, pronosticating that it's going to be a three-year recovery. Yes. Mm. And I mentioned in one of my interviews that as a country in Belize, mm -hmm. we can recover in one year. You think w so? Oh, definitely. Uh, if you look at it, the ministry has just announced that uh, Alaska Airlines are going to start coming to Belize yep. starting November. Yeah. This is an airline had no interest in Belize prior or was not scheduled to come. They decided to come during a pandemic. You know, that shows that Belize is a they beautiful country. Mm -hmm. There's interest. They're seeing the traffic coming to the country. So when you're adding inventory of seats to the country of Belize, we need that in order to recover. You cannot grow if you don't have airlines coming to Belize. Mm -hmm. We have airlines coming in and you will hear uh, very soon of m more airlines adding seats in September, October and November. Uh, Copa just said that they're starting um, June 2nd from Panama. And very soon they might say, you know what? We're going to add another flight to Belize. I spoke to, um, to TAG yesterday, last night, and they started bringing a 50 passenger plane to Belize just this week. Mm. I mean, normally it was a 14 passenger plane. TAG? Yeah, TAG. TAG. From Airlines Guatemala City Panama. directly to Belize, six days. So when you are oh. seeing the airlines and saying, you know what? I was putting a 14 passenger plane. I'm increasing it to 50. Okay. I'm increasing it to 125. They're adding inventory because they're seeing the interest in Belize. Yeah. They're buying from Google, uh, from Expedia, all of these reports and saying how many people are searching Belize. Mm -hmm. And these numbers are amazing. So I know that as a country, we were the first one to say, once you have been double vaccinated, you have 14 days, you don't need no tests. Come yeah. to Belize, we yeah. welcome you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a game changer. Mm -hmm. I mean, yesterday the CDC announced that you can buy the test and do it at home and that is valid for international travel. That is another game changer. Yeah. We have to see how we are going to adapt that into Belize. Mm -hmm. But I spoke to the largest operator yesterday that said we will buy the test, we will bring it and do it in the rooms before we leave. Whoa. You know, that immediately sparks sales yeah. Yeah. international. So we have Alaska saying we're going to fly out of Seattle six times for the week. Mm -hmm. Let's Let's capitalize on those. Yeah. And yeah. as a country, I don't believe we need to be three years waiting for this to come back. Yeah. I believe if we do everything right, mm -hmm. within one year, we'll back, be back 2019 figures. Well, at 44, that's, that's already good news. And I know, you know for an industry that has taken such a horrible hit, um, this is all uh, great news for them. And, and they can start with that releasing that uh, sigh of relief. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, I think the focus in, in being able to ensure that this boom of local travel, of Belizeans exploring Belize, continues forward. Um, this is one opportunity to do so. What's the hope with having, because um, I think Duane, I don't know if he's still with us, spoke of going into the Cayo region. Everyone will be dispersed into different areas. And are they going to be, you know, John may be a different type of traveler than I am. Maybe I'm going for the spas. Well, no, I'm, maybe I'm going for the waterfall <laughs> rappelling in, in the south um, and John's going, you know, for, for something else. <laughs> so are we also differentiating um, on what's available? Yes, for sure. Um, while they will have a specific itinerary, they will also be producing content yeah. on their region. So it's not just about all that they have done, but they'll need to educate the public on even more. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much to yeah. do, as Ted mentioned, especially when you think about Cayo. Oh my gosh. You know, Cayo expands even to the Mountain Pine Ridge yes. area as well. Yes. So there's so much that he would not be able to do it all by himself, but yeah. he will be able to share content yeah. on his page and on our page as well to kind of create that yeah. education as well. Because the campaign is also about educating. Yeah. Right? We call our Facebook page the content hub of, of education because there's so much information there on things to do, places to go, the history, yeah. right? Yeah. But yes, each of them will have their um, specific regions and things that they do that we think will appeal to the general yeah. indeed. What we plan to do is have them do what we call the takeovers. Mm -hmm. So they'll come on our platform, our Facebook platform, and they will entertain their followers because mm -hmm. the idea is to entice their followers over to our page as yeah. well. And the, we will be distributing prizes based on the interaction. Or the unique thing about them, Dwayne is a reporter. Mm -hmm. So Dwayne's take over maybe something to the effect of send me a video of you reporting something. Mm -hmm. And then he kind of does his own little judging and 
and that's how he's going to have his engagement. Yeah, that, that, right? So if I submit, I win. Right? <laughs> no so biasness, you know no. <laughs> it's going to be fair, right? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the idea. Sean, who is a, who is a chef, yeah. he might say, send me a recipe, an authentic or, or original recipe. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll, they'll be innovative in the ways that they engage with their audience, yeah. but based on their own um, background and based on their own expertise, we wanted to bring their personality into that arena. Yeah. That's lovely. The okay. other thing, um, we have uh, Captain Cadel, who is a TikTok. He's high on TikTok. He's mm -hmm. a real good dancer. So he may say, send me some dances. Yeah. yeah. But the whole idea is to have their audiences engage with who they are and why they follow them. Yeah. yeah. Right. So um, we're really, really excited about what kind of content can be generated from this. And while this year we don't have a grand prize giveaway, we will be giving away prizes overnight, massages, yeah. really? tours, zip lining, cave yeah. tubing, yeah. while they're doing their takeovers. So you have to follow them. You have to follow Channel 5 mm -hmm. so that you know what's going on. Duane, <laughs> when do you start? Because I need to win. <laughs> When I saw how uh, Jan's eyes went when he's when they mentioned massage. So I think that's why I switched it, right? <laughs> I knew. <laughs> Tell me, D, when 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 is that? I I start as soon as uh, June right here, um, Jan. And honestly, I'm going to try to make sure that I capture as much uh, uh, well a, a cross section of activities that you can do because I know like my family and I like, we love. Uh, cultural experiences and, mm. and immersing ourselves in, in that. So I'm looking forward to, you know, diving into that Maya culture. Yeah, culture go make tamales. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. And Boyos in San Antonio. Yes. Uh, that is definitely <laughs> going to be on, um, on the bucket list for us to do. I'm, and I'm glad you said that. Can I jump in here? What's, what's the one thing for you that Maybe you're scared, but also really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. They they horseback riding. <laughs> no. <laughs> I swear. No <laughs> <It's way>. like, <laughs> honestly, that that is. Um, uh, Why? <laughs> never been on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you right. So when I was younger, when I was five years old, um, my dad. We grew up um, in the village, right in Orange Walk, and my dad. Uh, Place me on, on top on top of one of these horses, and the thing kicked me. It licked me, it <laughs> threw me off, and it kicked me. I said, "That is the last time <laughs> I see me near a horse." <laughs> so I think the fact that they've included that in the list of okay, okay, purposely, you know, so, but, I will not is, miss that one. <laughs> I may even <laughs> travel along to see. <laughs> yeah, but but other than that, I'm, I'm excited about it because yeah. I think. There are those people who, like I said, love the culture, cultural experiences. You have those who love archaeology, so they would want to see um, those Maya monuments. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. you have others who, like the adrenaline rush from zip lining and cave tubing and all of that. And I'm thinking that it gives me that opportunity for, mm -hmm. to, to really, um, you know, go through it and, and write it in a way that, you know what, they can appreciate it and and maybe it inspires yeah. them to say, you know what, let me go and try it, man, or, or you know what, let them lose that fear of trying these things. And, and you know, I, I think that's what I want to do. And nice. maybe document going along the way, things that you that you never think, you know, it's there, like the, maybe the favorite tamales lady um, in Georgeville, or, or, you know, stopping in Warren Creek and, and going to the creek, because I think that is something that people look forward to. We're always here about, you know what, you go to the river, the Warren Creek, and it's something good. So I want to try and do all of those things. And so I think it's going to be packed. Wow. Uh, I'm ready. I, I need people to follow, obviously, the Belizean Traveler page, uh, follow Channel 5 yeah. uh, to yeah. keep, uh, to get updates, uh, myself and all the other influencers. Yeah. I think going to be fun, 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 right. fun. Maybe we do an online competition. We should have people choose which horse you're going to ride. Ooh. <laughs> right? Yeah. We'll put them all up and pick 
doing tour. So, uh, no, you know, I we'll like have that. your viewers help you. No, actually, actually, Marlene, I'm glad you, you know, said that. Like, where do they want to see me go yeah. next or something right. like that? We, there. We, yeah. we do plan to use Facebook polls. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, based on his itinerary, we say, what we. do you want to see him do today? Ride a horse or <laughs> jump off a waterfall, you know? And then based on what they select, he'll have to do it. Ah, <laughs> oh, my God. I think I set up myself just now. Yes, yeah, yeah, you did. I was <laughs> plotting it out in my head. You know me. But this is, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity. And I think, you oh know, as God. Belizeans, we watch all these beautiful videos. I know I feel it when we see all the promo videos come up. Yes. We're like, man, I wish I could it's go beautiful. there. That's yes. cool. And now we'll have uh, well-known faces taking us there yeah. and showing us how accessible they are how affordable it can be, and yeah. maybe it's not as scary, you know, like, <laughs> like what we're looking at there. Right. And one of the things that we did this year is, as you can see, we're not bringing any international influencer. Okay. Yeah. We're using our yeah. Dwayne Local Moody, yeah. who is known all over Belize, yeah. Yeah. and making him a little bit more famous, you know, yeah. because he only have about <laughs> 2,500. <laughs> Please like Dwayne Moody on his page. We need to Let me tell you something. When 5, I do 000. school tours, every child that comes here knows Dwayne yeah, Moody. Where Dwayne, Dwayne Moody the best? Yeah, Dwayne Moody. So, so they what? So that is a perfect thing that we have used. Mm -hmm. Sh uh, Sean Quillen, yeah. Tamara from, you know, the personality that people say, you know what? Oh, I know them. And if yeah. they can do that and they're doing that, I can do it yes. myself. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. But guys, it sounds like a really, really great idea. And uh, of course, uh, we do hope that Belizeans jump on it, uh, jump on it, because the website again to b to do bookings and get BelizeBooking.com. Uh, yeah, BelizeBooking.com. Belizebooking yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, I'm happy to have a travel segment talking just about Belizeans yeah. traveling. It, we don't get to do it often enough, and we are looking forward to seeing um, where these influencers are gonna take us, which horse I'll be voting on, <laughs> and of course, which deals I'll take advantage of. <laughs> Well, we want to come back also because we want to bring the actual industry stakeholders with us yeah. from time to time. So you yeah. hear directly from them as yeah. well. So you see us Look, again. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank and you, guys. we would like to plug in one more. Uh -huh. You know, that we are still not over with the pandemic. Oh, no. yeah. You know, we want to encourage our stakeholders to please vaccinate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We saw an increase of 44% between uh, February to March of international travelers. We see that growth coming. We're asking do your part yeah. vaccinate let's get back to 2019 but you need to do your part yeah. and in some need countries to have it's mandatory distance. for yeah. for tourism workers to get uh, yes. vaccinated it's not going to be mandatory in belize i don't believe so but we are encouraging yeah. them yeah. and still take care of your fellow brother because we are still not over or out of the pandemic yeah all right thank you guys thank we you. appreciate it yep so uh Jocelle, ted dwin Thank you guys so very much for joining us this morning. We're Thank excited. You. The booking number, the, the, the website again? BelizeBooking.com. BelizeBooking.com. Why not get the <laughs> deals that you like? We're about to take a break. When we come back, we'll be discussing uh, the celebration of Teacher's Day. And uh, this year, they've got a team there. It's Reimagining the Future, Education, Community, and Wellness. We'll talk about that when we come back. This COVID update was brought to you by Foltex Systems. Your technology center, where you'll come for the price, but stay for the service.